What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel the red box short squeeze just got a little bit more serious and why I say that is because you're seeing a lot of very interesting option activity like some options that expire by the end of the day today for the $16 strikes as well as now you are seeing a June 17th $18 call as well. These are options that just came in on the option chain a couple of minutes ago. So I want to go over that information with you guys, as well as the short interest is now sitting at 226.27%. But the thing here is I don't think we have seen the short squeeze yet. Even though the stock is up 50%, you're not seeing that explosive nature that is indicative of a short squeeze. So we are going to get into all of this key information. I hope you guys find value out of this this video most importantly make some money if you guys want to come trade with me live in real time link down below in the pinned comment we just had some spy puts as well as some qqq puts sold out of those for about a 500 percent profit about 300 dollars turned into a little bit over 1500 dollars so if you guys want to be a part of that action over there Come join us link down below in the pinned comment get your free stock with weeble mumu and public if you guys have not joined up and joined up signed up for any of those brokerages you get yourself some free money down below in the description but let's get into this information so first thing that i want to talk about is kind of this inverse relationship to the markets and to red box what you're seeing today is the markets are down a lot the s p is down 2.73 percent nasdaq down over three percent but at the same time as the markets are falling red box is actually going up on that so it looks like you're seeing red box in a weird way becoming uh somewhat is like a rush to safety at least for the day and it looks like this momentum is certainly uh, on the up and up right you're seeing a lot of good consecutive candles and then you'll see some red candles here and there but you're not seeing the explosive moves that are indicative of a short squeeze a short squeeze consists of almost every single time you know the stock getting halted right gaps up to the upside these you know 20 30 40 50 cent moves every one minute you're you're not seeing that this is not shorts necessarily being squeezed out of their positions being forced to cover as of right now now it, it might change by the end of the day who knows i really want to pay attention to those halts to see if we do get halted and that will kind of give you more of an indication of shorts getting pushed out of positions because when the short interest is 226.27 percent you got to imagine when shorts get that call from the broker and and they say hey you know you got to get out of this short position you're getting dangerously low in your portfolio your your margin levels well they're gonna have to get out and they're gonna have to start eating up that order book and that's gonna push us up and that will cause some degree of volatility halt so that's kind of what i'm looking for you're, you're just not seeing that price action indicative of a short squeeze yes the stock is up 46 percent, so it's a little bit more risky now than than you know the last couple of days that i've been talking about this but i do think there's still a lot of upside left in this stock and i personally think you know with 226.27 percent short interest of free float 726 percent cost borrow minimum 828 percent cost bar average 951 percent cost bar max i think it's very hard to be bearish and i think it's very hard to say how high it could go this stock could go parabolic but you guys got to keep this in mind as well we have those warrants uh the stock has to get above 18 and stay above 18 for 20 days in a row and then those warrants will essentially uh be able to be exercised now i want to keep this in mind and i'm gonna read this article from the motley fool uh just real quick because I, I i think this points out the biggest point you guys need to know so it says why redbox entertainment is surging higher today this article just came out 20 minutes ago on the dot it says so what redbox has become the latest meme stock celebrity after the short interest in its shares rocketed to 210 percent of its float that that has been the bench the hallmark of many of the market's meme stock favorites extraordinarily high short interest which which leads small investors to pile into the stock in hopes of generating a short squeeze it's certainly something better to hope for than the conclusion of the redbox acquisition by chicken soup for the soul entertainment since investors in the movie retail business will be getting zero 
0.087 shares of chicken soup uh, for the soul for every red box share they own. That valued the kiosk owner at around 375 million, which includes 50 million worth of chicken soup for the soul stock and 325 million in red box debt that's being assumed. Red box uh, market cap is currently worth 446 million. And it says the deal is almost certainly going to be completed since virtually all of both companies' investors have signed off on the acquisition. A short squeeze might allow some investors to cash out sooner with greater value than what they will realize from the buyout. The key is not to be the last one holding the bag. And the buyout price is like 50 cents. Like it is not pretty compared to where we are at right now. So I personally, with this one, I like the idea of going into this with a smaller amount of money. The options are expensive, but they're not that expensive. You can get some of the July 15th, you know, $15 calls uh, for... 100 bucks 150 bucks if this thing does rally say it does something like dwac did which is certainly possible when you're talking about two over 200 percent short interest um you, you could be looking at thousands of dollars in gains off of a couple hundred dollars but you're not risking the whole portfolio that's kind of the way uh that i would like to play it but again i do want to highlight uh, we have seen a, a big move up, but you're not seeing the velocity of a short squeeze. And that's very important to actually point out. But we are breaking out to the highest levels that we have seen in quite a long time. You really have to go back to November of 2021 to get back to these levels. And I think that puts us in a new uh, era right here, right? We... Uh, we do have those warrants as well at $11.50 per share. That was a key level. You know, on a technical basis, that was a key level as well. The stock kept getting pushed down around those prices. We finally broken out above that, and the volume is only $41 million for the day. We have seen much higher volume than this in the past. You know, 160 million shares traded hands back here on May 2nd. So if we do get more volume that heads into the stock it would not surprise me to see a hundred percent move uh for today alone and then possibly get into a short squeeze and now the option activity that's what i find most interesting believe it or not that's what i'm like wow that's kind of insane especially these daily options for the 16 dollar strike these guys they pay 30 dollars a pop for these for $30,000 for one order and then $30,000 for another order. And with the $16 strike and the $30 premium, they're really betting that Redbox is going to be $16.30 per share by the end of the day today. If it is not, they will lose collectively about $60,000 dollars so that is implying the stock's probably going to move up roughly 100 percent by the end of the day and these orders just came in you guys can see the time on here these came in at 12.05 and 12.08 uh this time is currently 12.24 so they only came in a couple minutes ago i doubt these guys are positive it, it doesn't look like one of those quick flip uh kind of deals it's kind of forecasting that we're going to see a bigger rally than not towards the end of the day so it could be a really good swing trade now some of the orders that we have seen uh earlier in the day as well a lot of these june 17th calls that are coming through in between the four and the 12 dollar strikes a 13 dollar strike right here and some of these orders are very very large we've talked about it many times you're seeing millions of dollars in call options being placed on the option chain some of these are single orders you know worth over a million dollars a piece some of these uh, a majority of these worth over a hundred thousand and a lot of them worth over half a million dollars so we'll see where this thing hashes out by the end of the day i do think the option activity is very interesting especially those daily options that expire today uh, all in all though you, you want to be a little bit safer than not a small amount can go a very long way but you i mean let me know what you guys think about this 226 percent short interest how high could this stock go and when do you think shorts will actually get squeezed out of their positions because 46 percent on the day so far and you're not seeing that velocity as if shorts are getting squeezed out or having to eat up that order book to get out of those positions so we'll see pretty exciting let me know what trades you guys have on this down below in the comment section thank you guys for tuning in hit the like button subscribe to the channel all of that good stuff and i will see you in the next one